Pleasant good evening to my family in Christ. Peace be unto you this morning from God the Father Almighty, our soon coming King, the God of love and peace, the God of understanding, the God of truth, the God that knows us in and out because he formed us and shaped us in his own image and his own likeness. I am coming to you today because he loves you and he loves me. And because of his love, we are here today to encourage one, of, one another to hold on to his unchanging hands. To his unchanging hand in our life, the God of peace. The God that formed family together. The Lord that does not destroy those that diligently seek him. Today are coming without strength and power, but are coming with confidence knowing the God that I serve is real. And he walks with me and he talks with me. Even in times where are falling short but conscious that I know that the Lord God will not will never leave me comfortless today my beloved brethren wherever you are whatever situation you are in I want you to be courageous don't give up don't turn your back and say that there is not a God because of the things that is going on around you. It's going on around me too. Maybe in a different way. But Satan is like a roaring lion seeking who he may be. Who he can devour. Or may devour. Remember, the devil is not slack concerning the promise he make. He's seeking to and fro. You and I are no exempt. One of the things that I have observed is that we get caught up in negativity things that brought us no good things that cannot do anything for us but suffering and pain sometimes pains that we cannot describe because no one will believe But I know of a man they call Jehovah God. One who promised us. And I love to hear. I love God family. I love God. I love God. Because when you study the weakness of our body and our mind. How we get so contaminated. In the things that are wrong us. The things we read, the things we, the, we watch on the television, the, the voices we hear among us, and the, even in the churches, even in the synagogue, wherever you are, there is some negativity there. The only how we can stay positive is to know the power that lies with almighty god and his son jesus the christ isaiah the sixth chapter the third verse said and the cry and and one cry to another and said holy 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 is the lord of hosts the whole earth is full of his glory. And the post of the door was shaken by the voice 
of him who cried out and the house was filled with smoke. Today I want to try to give you some courage, some encouragement to stay focused. Don't give up. For God is not deaf. His eyes is not blind. Neither hear. He could hear. He had blind. He had deaf. And he could see. So today, my beloved brethren, wherever you are, you are at this time, take some time off to listen to a word. I pray that you find some love in it. I pray that you find some peace. I pray that you find some encouragement. Remember, I teach you, Marvel is not a perfect human being. I too sin and come short of the glory of God. But I love God because he taught me how to pray. There is a song he said, in the middle of the night, when my back against the wall, the Lord taught me how to pray. Being in my position as a leader of God's people, it is not easy, it is hard work. Because man is not listening or paying attention. They're listening, but they're not paying attention to the word of God. They look at you who deliver in the word. Remember, it's you that put in people on pinnacle. People not putting themselves there. You are. The Bible said we all sin and come short of the glory of God. So if you want a blight, you have to give me a blight. You can't want it for yourself and not for your neighbor. But in saying that, I want to say that we must not be presumptuous. You bounce your toe once, you bounce it twice, check yourself. Don't blame nobody, check yourself. And see if you're paying attention to where you're going or your surroundings. Why am I bouncing my foot? Why am I stumbling? It is because you're not paying attention to what is in front of you. I am here to tell you, take your eye off the creature and place it upon the creator. For the Lord said that he's the reader of your heart and the searcher of your mind. So today, good evening to my family, on zoom or wherever you will be listening to these words i trust this evening that you are all in a good frame of mind i trust that you're depending upon the lord with your whole heart your body your soul and your spirit and you're not healing to the temptation of your flesh for healing is sin Family, we want to come out of unrighteousness and come into righteousness with God. Today, my words to you is to love yourself. The Bible says, love yourself. If you don't love you, you cannot love nobody else. We learn that we have to take care of ourselves before you can take care of anybody. I learned that the hard way. I also learned that the arms of flesh will fail you. You dare not trust your own. I also learned that men are not taking responsibility for their actions. It's always somebody make me do something. That infuriate me. If that's the right word. I 
I get so upset because we all have a mind of our own, brethren. Sometimes, yes, people couldn't, you know, they can encourage you. But we have to remember just as how that person is coming to win your soul. You too must be able to have the ammunition to ask the right question. Take your time. Study to show yourself approved unto God. So that you will always be armed and ready with a word. I learned that you have to ask questions to be made wise. So today, my beloved brethren, wherever you are, whatever you are going through, I am here with you to hold your hand, to give you a word, to give you a hug. I believe in truth regardless to the situation, whether it condemn me or not. Because sometimes in life we offend people and don't know we offend them because that person don't have the, 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 the belly or the, or the love in them to say, you mash my toe or you said that and that. No, they keep on walking and walking and wherever they walk, they drop a pebble and they drop a pebble and they drop a pebble and they go in. But you not, you know, they, you know my mom used to say, I'm not cocoa in sun, I'm looking for rain. Some people are very touchy. Everything offend them. Such people cannot learn anything because nobody will take time to teach you because your blood near your skin. We have to be teachable. So today, my beloved brethren, if you're willing, I am here to discuss, to talk, to comfort, to give a word in any form, as long as it's coming from Almighty God. I believed in speaking the truth and shame the devil. I don't believe man must have nothing holding over my head. I learned that from a child. Nobody must have no secret holding for you. The only person must have a secret for me is God. Because <laughs> there is unguarded moment for every one of us. So today, my beloved brethren, I love you. I pray that you find peace and harmony in worshiping God. Sing your heart out. Listen to the voice. Cry out. Whatever you need to do to find that peace. Remember, he's not deaf. He's not blind. And he's not dumb. So today, beloved brethren, let us call upon the divine power of God. Who promised us to wait on the Lord. Be of good courage, and he will strengthen you. I love to, to sing a nice little, one of my nice little songs for you. Um, a nice little hymn, in fact, so that you and I could be on the same page. And it said, I'm pressing on the upward way, new heights I've gained. In every day, still praying as I'm onward bound. Lord, plant my feet on higher ground. Lord, lift me up 
and let me stand by feet of heaven table and a higher plane that I have found. Lord, plant my feet on higher ground. My heart has no desire to stay where doubt has rise and fear dismay. Though some may dwell where these are bound, my prayer, my gain is higher ground. Lord, lift me up and let me stand by faith of heaven table and a higher plane that I have found. God plant my feet on higher ground. So I pray this evening, brethren, that the Lord lift me up and lift you up and plant our feet on higher ground for he's able to do all things so today my beloved brethren let us bow in prayer and ask the divine power of god to take us through the segment that someone will able to cry out aheel aheel i cannot hold out any longer remember god is love and today we have to seek love in order to grow. Eternal and ever wise God. Father, I teach a mother come before you this morning. Without no strength and without no power of my own. I come, Lord, because I am a wounded vessel this evening, Jesus. I am a child of God that have a torn this evening, oh God. But I beg you, Jesus, to be merciful unto me. Guide and protect my feet as I walk and my tongue as I speak. Help me, Lord, to have a communication with thee and a relationship with you, God. Father, Lord, remember all those that are listening to the song of my voice wherever they be at this time. Purge me with his O God, and wash me and make me whiter than snow. Search me, Lord, within and without, O God. And anything that wasn't planted by you, oh God, I beg you, oh God, at this time, release me, blessed Father. For Lord, I come on behalf of all those that are unable to serve you, unable to call you because of some form of illness or the other. I pray, oh God, Lord, that you touch them from the crown of the head to the sole of the feet. I pray, oh God, you speak to the heart and you let them feel the twinkling of your love. Father, this time and hour, bringing a woman of God, Mother Anne-Marie, before you, wherever she be at this time. I pray, oh God, you touch the woman from the crown of the head to the sole of the feet. Remember the offsprings of her body, oh God. Father, oh God, bless their waiting soul and do their body ever good. I thank you for deliverance, oh God. I pray, oh God, that you will wash them, Lord God Jesus. I pray, oh God, that you give them some water to drink of that running stream, oh God, that flow from Emmanuel this evening, Jesus. Father, you are the way, the truth, and the light. No man commit to the Father, but by thee. I bring the offspring of my body, oh God. Father, Lord, I bring a Lord in thankful hand, and I heal unto thee, Jesus. Father, you know all things concerning, oh God. God, naked she come into thee for dress and helpless, Lord, she look into thee for grace. Cover her, oh Lord, under your own almighty wing and provide for her this evening as thou seem best. Father, hold her in your hand, oh God, and never let her go until you bless her waiting soul. This evening, Jesus, I, your sinner, come, oh God. I come, Lord, with nothing in my hands I bring, Lord, but simply to your cross I cling. <laughs> naked I come into thee for dress and helpless, Lord, I look into to thee for grace. Father, supply me every need, oh God. Teach me what I must do, what I must say every minute, my strength renew. For Lord, I'm waiting upon you, oh God. Father, I'm waiting upon you to give me some direction from where do I go from here. You, Lord, is acquainted with my ups and my downs. 
Father, Lord, sink me in your gospel treasure. Teach me to read and understand. Help me to give a comforting word to those who need it this morning. Dear Jesus, in thy name, heal the sick, oh God. Remember those that are broken hearted this morning. Remember those that don't have shelter, Jesus. Remember those that cannot afford food this morning, Lord. This morning, oh God, remember those that are studying for exam, oh God. I pray, oh God, Lord, that you loose the brain, oh God, Lord, and you bless it with your undivining anointing spirit. Father, oh God, remember those that are about to go back to school, Jesus. Wherever they be at this time, and our children and adults, oh God. Father, Lord, I beg you to lose your knowledge, oh God. And I beg you, oh God, to cover them, oh God, with your spirit of truth and understanding. My God and King, remember us, oh God, as you remember Daniel in the lion den. I beg you, oh God, remember the ark of the covenant, Jesus. Father, you choose me one day and you place me, oh God. But I beg you, Lord, you know me needs, you know me wants, you know me up sitting, Jesus, and you know me down rising. Father, my belly groaned this evening, for I need a friend like thee, oh God, I need a friend to suit and pity. Father, help me, oh God, to be courageous, oh God. Help me to be courageous, oh God. Send help for me where those seem to be none. Help that understand and have respect, oh God, that we will able to walk in the house of together and not. Oh Lord Jesus. Help me this morning, oh God. Father, where we are in glory, you tell me to knock and the door shall be open. You said to seek and I shall find. Father, I come seeking you, Lord. I seek in your day and night. Father, show me what I must do and what I must say. I know, Lord, you're not a silent God. I know your spirit is not silent this evening. Whenever your spirit is silent is when something, Lord, is not going along with your plan. This morning, Father, hear and answer my prayer. Remember the companion of my life, oh God. Father, you know him even better than I do. You are acquainted with the man ups and his down. I leave him in your kind care and keep him. And I ask your God to watch over him. Heal him from the crown of his head to the sole of his feet. Prepare him, oh God, for the coming kingdom. Father, you know all things concerning us, oh God. You alone know all things concerning us, dear God. You know up, you know down, you know in, you know out. Father, continue to bless our waiting soul, even not for my sake but for the ark of the covenant sake this morning lord father remember these members wherever they be at this time i know lord you could spin them seven times seven lord father i know you are acquainted with them oh god father send them oh god from the east the west the north and the south grant me the wisdom the knowledge with the understanding oh god to do thy will and to do it in spirit and in truth help me not to add not to take away help me not to be a follower but a leader this evening put your right spirit with in me oh god father put your right thoughts within my mind help me oh god help me lord to sink myself in your gospel treasure this evening oh god take charge of my home father from one floor to the other send your mighty angels oh god true and true father circle it with your force oh god of love and unity let satan have no dominion over us but hold us lest we fall remember my spiritual grandchildren wherever they be at this time those are no and those are don't know remember teacher jones oh god God, I thank you for the woman, Lord. I thank you for the hand she laid upon me, oh God. I thank you for the heart that set free this morning. This morning, oh, oh Lamb of God, that take it away the sins of the world, graciously hear me. Father, Lord, take charge of this world, oh God. Father, Lord, look at what's going on in this world today, Jesus. Look at your handiwork, oh God. Look at what man is taking your world to do this morning, oh God. But Father, where you are in glory this morning, forgive them for wrong, oh God. Friend them, grant them a new life and a new commandment on the heart oh god this evening jesus remember us oh god father be my guardian and my guide and hear me when i call father i need you to fix me right for your purpose this morning remember those that calling upon you this morning lord whatever the state and condition 
whatever the state and condition of the mankind, oh God, whatever circumstances lie before us this morning, Lord, keep us from sudden accident and danger, seen or unseen. Let Satan have no dominion of us, oh, but hold us lest we fall. Help me to run this race with patience, oh God, for every church and chapel, wherever they be, all those my duty bound to pray for this morning, those that are losing their minds this morning, Father, those that are weak and insufficient, oh God, Father, for you are our burden bearer. You tell us to lay a burden at your footstool this morning, Lord. Father, I'm laying it, oh God, I'm laying it down, I'm laying it down, I'm laying it down in your name. And I beg you to set me free. Grant me a new heart, oh God. Grant me love and unity and strength. This evening, oh God, be merciful, Jesus. Father, Lord God of Israel, I thank you for Bishop John and his members. I thank you for Mount Hope Pilgrim this morning. I thank you for Mount Hope Pilgrim, oh God. Father, bless the going out and the coming in. Grant them that strength and courage, oh God. Father, renew the covenant with you this morning. Remember Bishop John again, oh God. I thank you for the Son, Jesus. I thank you for your blessings upon him this morning. I thank you, oh God, oh God, and I pray, oh God, that you will continue to guide him through Jesus. Father, Lord, you will bring them, Lord, to a family that prays together, that stays together. I beg you, oh God, to be our director, blessed Lord. Father, Lord, God of Israel, have your way. My God and King this morning, my God and King, my God and King, my God and King, take charge. Take charge, holy and adorable God, take charge. I pray for all those I lay my hands upon, oh God. I wish them well this morning, Father. I pray, oh God, wherever they be, wherever they're being fed, I pray, oh God, Lord, that they get your sincere milk, oh God. I pray, oh God, that you furnish their heart and their mind and you grant them love and peace. And I pray, oh God, you'll deal with us as we deserve, but you pardon us as the day come and go. Dear yeah, Jesus, in thy name, oh God, provide for me, oh God. Father, you know what I want to tell you at this time. But, oh God, Jesus, take it in charge. You say you are the reader of my heart and the search of my mind. This morning, oh God, take it, blessed Lord, and set me free. Help me, oh God, to have a heart to serve you. Father, you know, I'm preparing to come. But I pray, oh God, Jesus, you fix the road for me this morning, Lord. Fix the road. Father, I love you this morning, Lord, because you first loved me. Teach me to read and understand. Help me, oh God, to win souls for your kingdom. My God and King this morning, pass by. Every member, every child, every one that walk in the Ark of the Covenant, every church that circle around. Remember Mount Hope are gone. Remember Bishop Kali, Father. Remember Pastor Show, Showin, blessed Lord, and his family circle. Remember M Mount Nebo, Jesus. Remember St. John Define. Oh God, remember Mount Hope. Father, I thank you this morning, Lord. And I pray, oh God, that you will continue to bless our waiting soul and do our body ever good. This I ask in no other name, but in Jesus' almighty name. In Jesus' almighty name, our Father who art in heaven. Holy be thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. And forgive us our trespass as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from all evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power and the glory forever and ever. Amen. Almighty and most merciful God, our wonderful counselor, the God of life and peace. I pray, O oh God, Lord, that you lose my stumbling tongue, O oh God. And I pray that you direct me as I'm about to deliver your unadulterated word this morning, Lord. Cover me, Lord. Cover me, if thou be so pleased. So my family in Christ at this time, the word today, as I said, is coming from Isaiah, the sixth chapter, from the third verse, and it reads, And one cried to another and said, Holy, holy, holy is the Lord of hosts. The whole earth is filled of his glory. And the host of the door was shaken, the post of the door was shaken by the voice of him who cried out and the house was filled with smoke. Today, my beloved brethren, 
Have you ever feel uncertain in these times? Have you ever find yourself in a position of uncertainty? I am here to tell you, be courageous. Focus on God's sovereignty and find some peace of mind according to the word. Cry out to God, holy, holy, Lord God of hosts, the whole earth is full of glory. Save me, God. Fear not the holiness of his supreme, I want to say, attributes. Control, that control all that he does. We're talking about Jehovah God, eh? Fear not the holiness of his supreme, as I would call, attributes that control all he does. <laughs> it is amazing family. When you sit or, or your thoughts go out of the sovereignty and truth and loyalty of God's power for mankind, for his creation. You know, mankind must not have a, we should not have a problem. But our problem comes when we fail God. is when the problem come you know our failure to obey God's command God is an awesome God a great God he is a God of loyalty there is no word or even a picture to describe the more man understand God holiness the more he understand his own sinful nature because you're putting it on the scale of balance but that is only if we're honest with ourselves. If you take a scale or you even take your hands and you place it out like this and you start to put God's word in one hand and your behavior and attitude in the other, you're going to see one is going to start to sink and the other one would stand firm because God's word stands forever. It changeth not. He's the same God yesterday, today and forever he changed not what changes mankind everything they want to change nothing wrong if it's changing for the better but not for the worse understanding is the key the lord said in everything you do get understanding he also said, woe be unto the shepherd that leading the sheep astray. The voice said one cry out, holy, 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 God, Lord of hosts. The whole earth is full of glory. God is always ready to forgive those who are ready to repent. First John 1 John 1.9 Anytime you're ready to forgive self Remember, hear my words Anytime you get ready to forgive self Hear what God 
um, told Daniel, from the time you set your heart in order, he heard you. And remember that God does prepare for his children. The Lord is not carnal. You're making a child and you're not no, you, you have no way to put the child. You're running out and get pregnant and you don't have no job. You're breeding a woman, bringing forth a child for you, and you have no job. What you're mining it with? That's not God. From the time the Lord created man, the word of God said he created the earth. He formed the earth so that man will have a place to live. Brethren, let us start taking our teaching from God how he operates. Teach your children that in the church of God, ministers preach God. Preach God preparation for mankind and not your own. You cannot prepare nothing for mankind. Because you is flesh and blood. You can only prepare what God, you can only take direction from God. But God, the, the spirit of God is one, di one, one that will give you the direction. Turn right, turn left, step up, come down, turn around. The Bible, because he sees and he knows all things. Question, brethren, do you believe? My question for mankind who is doing whatever they want and not following the laws, remember, and the rules, not understanding. Do you know God? Do you know who he is? Do you know the power that lies with God? Do you? Do you understand? Because if you understand and you're doing left the things that you're not supposed, then you become presumptuous now. That's not what I said. That's the word. It says, he is always ready to forgive those who are ready to repent. Remember in baptism, they said you have to repent, believe, and then. Today, today there is no repentance. Because you're telling man, from the time you said this, God ready. I don't believe in that period. The word also said to me, hearing God call is one thing. Heeding God call is quite another. You're here, but you didn't take heed. You're sitting on a fence. You're depending on somebody to pray for you. You just hear children saying, now my mother and my father are praying for me. I want to tell you, careful with that. You reach to the stage of the age of reasoning. Go to God for yourself. Know, the, know your master voice. You're to age. Remember how old Jesus was when he became a man. Today, you have to take some responsibility for you. You're hearing the call, but you're not taking heed. You're doing you. But it has consequences at the end. Remember that consequence is going to cause somebody else to leave their, their duty and come to take help you do yours because of love. And then you still will turn your back on that person or treat them with, 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 with terrible sayings, things that you shouldn't say, things that you shouldn't do. You forget that when you didn't have food, that person feed you. You forget that when you was hungry, that person clothed you. You forget that when you needed a hand, that person there. This is what the Lord said. We have to forgive. We have to repent. Check yourself. See if any of this suits you. If there is any truth in it for you. If it is not, leave it and move on to something else that is there for you. But this is the way. They must have some cleansing of the mind of the body in order to move on. The Lord said, yeah, put in no clean wine in no dirty bottle. In no dirty bottle. If I wanted, you wanted to sound like that. But it all means the same thing. You're unclean, you're unclean. When I was growing up, unclean, unclean meaning your thoughts, in your mind, in your body. When I was growing up in school, when a woman is menstruating, there is certain things she cannot enter in, in, in the church. 
Now people doing whatever they want when they want and as they like. So it's a corrupt world. There is no separation. There is no cleansing. You're going and sit up with somebody and then after you're going back in the fasting room, you're going and you're doing all these kind of things that you shouldn't do. It is because you're not taught. And it is because even though you're taught, you're not living up to it. I want to go and see what I, I want to go this, I want to go that, I want to go. Come on. The only person that you're heaping call upon head is yours. Remember, you know, the word said, he's the reader of your heart and the searcher of your mind. Nobody had to go and talk that. God sees and knows. Remember, you know, the enemy fighting against the most high. Remember, you know, he fighting against the most high. The Bible said he come to steal, kill, and destroy. And who you think he come to steal, who and destroy? Because we, 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 the human race. The Lord said he make us in his own image and likeness and crown us with honor and glory. He said that he make us a little lower than the angel. When Satan tell he will tell himself that he was God perfect vessel. He didn't realize that God was creating man. To be higher than he. So today Satan job is to destroy god's creation you know the other day someone asked me when we said pray you may pray and mourn you may mourn your father's kingdom you may not hold in peace it's a sin it's a sin according to the word it's a sin according to what we're talking about here now you will not you and i will not be whole of the kingdom in peace because Satan is like a is like a roaring lion seeking who he may destroy. I could tell you that I am a I am a grown woman that passing through every minute something negative pass by, but it depends on what I focus on. Sometimes sometimes you have to close your eye and let some things pass. Not everything we have to jump on. When the, when you see these things happen, when you, then you start to get peace of mind. Don't let someone that is that is corrupt and doesn't have a peace of mind corrupt you. They have a little song. He said, don't steal my joy. I just like, I, I teach him, I said, let me give you room to pass. I don't want to be, no, 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 I am not, a, I, I am not blocking you. I give you room to pass. Because I know the race is not for the swift, nor the battle for the strong. But those who could endure to the end. So we have to be very careful and run this race with patience. Make sure to observe all things. Question some question to ask because you know how does for how how does it how how it, you know Focusing on God's sovereignty and holiness help you to stay calm and faithful. In this uncertain times. Hear me well what I'm saying to you, no brethren. What it takes to keep you focused on the sovereignty of God's holiness as a believer. How you focus, how you encourage mankind, how you encourage your house. I'm talking about family 
husbands and wives and how you keep your children focus on god focus on the knowledge on the on the school work focus on the things and not get contaminated with the outside world that is around them because they have phone they have this they have computer everything is right there for them to see how do you keep your children focus on that sovereignty of god that sovereign God we're talking about. That God that has no blemish. That God that is holy and holy. That God is that is above all. There is nothing higher. Psalm 56 says, When I am afraid, I will trust in the Lord. In God I will praise his word in God I will in God I have put all my trust I will not fear what the flesh can do <laughs> in order to use those words brethren you have to be sure about the shoes you're wearing you have to be sure you have to forget sure. you have to be positive not only sure about the shoes you're wearing you know but where you're putting your foot because in a twinkle of an eye you could lose your balance if you don't focus on where you're going and pay attention Because of the uncertainty of the world that we live in. But in order for you and I. To stay calm and faithful. We must be truthful to self. The word says man know thyself. You and I know when we're speaking to someone and we're making a promise or we're saying something, you know whether you could do it, yes or no. You know. I always say if I call one of the members of the Ark of the Covenant and they don't answer the phone, I know it's because they don't want to answer me because I always see them, the phone does not be too far. So it's either they know they do something that I am calling to talk about or they don't want to deal with me at that time and that is fine. They're not obligated. They're obligated to God. And if they have that obligation with God and the church, then they will answer with love and respect. So I always tell them it's up to you. I am not here to mince my word. My Bible tell me, I, oh, oh, not my Bible. I used to hear my parents say, don't spare the rod and spoil the child. So I am not going to hold my mouth from telling you the truth because I know when I look around me, I see you have children. When I will look, maybe look at your spiritual walk, I see one day you might grow into someone that have to do to do a work for God. So it's up to me to tell you the truth, whether you like it or not, as I see it. It may not be what you want to hear or maybe not the way you want to walk, but you cannot say you didn't hear. All you would be able to say is, I make a conscious decision for me. And whatever the consequence is it, you will walk with it, no problem in that. But God wants us to be steadfast. Want us to be faithful and we want us to be calm in order to deal with the surroundings and the things that is before us. All God's, I, you know, all God's attributes are controlled by his perfect holiness and obedience. Everything. 
when the, when, you know when you when you are commissioned by god and i always will say this thing because brethren i am one that is commissioned my life is not my own if my life was my own <laughs> there are so many things that i would like to do there is some Sundays that I would like to be in Trinidad. There is some days I like to be here. I'd like to, but I can't. For some reason, the Lord buckled me down. You think you don't think that God knows what's going on with all of us? He knows. Sometimes He's waiting for you to call. I always say the question for the in, in the early pandemic is where do I go from here? And I just watching. Time is changing, brethren. You hear a man talking about going back to sit and going back. We're not going back anywhere forward is the match. We're living in the 21st century. Where things is not the same. Changes are taking place. If you look at our leaders, we don't have the same type of leaders anymore. So all God attributes are controlled by, a, by his perfect holiness. So let us trust and obey his will. Don't follow multitude to do evil. Just because you want to be the friend. Be a positive worker for God. You be a positive worker for God. Lean not on your understanding. Do not be a follower. Pick up your Bible, which is your chart and your compass. And practice yourself to read one verse or half of a verse a day. For the week, read one chapter. Something that you could benefit from. That's something that you could grow from. Don't keep following man to and fro like on thinking horse to battle. Every man for the every man for themselves. Brethren, I'm looking at the spiritual world and it's it, it's a crime looking at it today. We're running down God's people like if what? We taking any and anything to fill up God's house because we want to be seen that we have something careful. The Lord said in them one way and you pulling them by you. You can't even keep them. And you're still learning the lesson. Remember, you know, we are a spiritual people. Remember the words say, I can't teach you nothing spiritual because you're still carnal. The Bible said a carnal-minded man is enmity with God. If you can't understand carnal things, you can understand spiritual things. You want to know, you want to know. But your mind is not built up yet to know. You're still living in a world of wonder. You're not yet spiritual. You have to take off that canal away about you and judge everything with God. Some people shame to, to, to say that I am a woman of God or I am a man of God or I'm trying to live the life of, 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 of a woman of God. I'm trying to be an example because none of us are perfect. I am trying. I'm hoping to get there. Because there is so, there is still so much of me to learn and to change. But the little bit I do is precious in his sight. 
Don't let no one keep you from doing your bit. Make sure the bit that you're doing for God, it weighs the price. It weighs the ounces. Not one ounce must let go. You remember a child and one of my members said to me, I want all my blessing. I will never forget that. So I learned now that I need all my blessing. And in order to get my blessing, I have to make sure that when I do my job and it get on the scale, it must not be less than what God wanted to be exactly what he wanted must be weighed if it's 16 ounces it must weigh the 16 ounces because when the blessing come i pray that the lord bless me immensely because that's what we're working for i don't know what you are working for but i know what i working for i am working for the blessing of god it says here again brethren What is, you know, what is keeping us from hearing or understanding the call of God? You're talking about holiness. Hearing is one thing. But answering the call is another. We hearing, you know, one of the things we is to hear, and there's all, you know, there are so many people prophesying these days, it's unbelievable. And I want to say the Lord does not put clean wine in a dirty bottle, careful with where the prophets are coming from. Remember those that come in to tell you, God said, check them out, make sure it's a clean vessel. You can't be corrupt and come in to, to tell me, God said, no. Because he tell me not putting clean wine in a dirty bottle. Check yourself. You know, the word said this, one of the scribes came to Jesus and said to him, teacher, I will follow you wherever you go. I hear those words already. I with you for the long run. I ain't going away. I with you. When I look for them, they out the door. Brethren, let us beware. I lie down and I dream and the Lord showing me. I see a big tree. And if you see how the things, the, the fruits falling, and I run in and I roll up my apron and I'm putting it down inside there. And as fast as I put it in there, you roll out. As fast as I put it there, you roll out and I run in to pick it up. Oh, when I get up, <laughs> I'm telling someone close to me, I said, listen, that's what you're doing since I know you. You're always picking them up. You're putting them in and they're running out. They're going back and they're doing all kind of things. And you're picking up again. Stop. They roll out because they don't want to be there. Get the message. Let them go. So you have to remember the word of God, what it is saying to you. So if you are in your house, check your house. If you're talking to your children and they want to hear and they want to go and do what they want, you can't hold them. You have to let them go, gain the experience. When they gain the experience, some of them coming back wounded, some too shame to come back. But those who get the message are in Christ. They come in because they come in as a. They come in with 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 understanding. They come in like the prodigal son with understanding. What the sons are running here, running there. When my father house flourishing. Better go and be a servant. Because you know what he realized on the outside? All who encourage him and all who tell him this and tell him that when he fall, when they eat all what he have and they had nothing more to give, they look for another parasite to suck. Anytime anybody encouraging you to leave your mother house or your father house to go and do check them, them don't love you. They're trying to fill their own house and envy taking them. So they find you doing too good. So they give they wouldn't give you a word. My spiritual mother, Jonesy and Olga, told me those words. If anybody come in to tell you anything about your spiritual parents or your carnal parents, run. I used to wonder, well, if something going on, why didn't tell me? You know, she said, listen, when they plant a seed. It is not easy for that seed to root up. 
Because you, even though you see, you're starting to look. You ever notice that? You ever see something, but somebody plant a seed inside you. Anyway, you go, you're watching to see. Because the seed is already planted, it's growing. Careful what you're taking in. Yes, describe to all Jesus. Wherever you go, I will follow you. Jesus said to him, The fox have a hole and birds have air and have nests, but the Son of Man has nowhere to lay his head. I want to go with you. Ever hear that? I hear that many times. I wouldn't leave and I wouldn't this, I wouldn't that. And when you check yourself, what? When your belly full and you feel you're able, you, you tell yourself, well, I ain't need that. I ain't need that nourishing no more. I full now. I could do my own thing. I see plenty of children run from the mother house to go different places. And when they catch, when they come back, they come back with their belly big and nowhere to put nothing. They still have to come for shelter. And that's in the carnal world. I say this to say to your family. Nothing wrong in leaving your, your parents' house and go and develop and grow. But leave with respect. Remember the holiness of God. You never hear Jesus talk about the Father in any negative form. You ever hear Jesus? You never hear Jesus take anything for himself. He always put his father on him. He said, Father, remember Lazarus? He said, Father, I know, but it's not for me, but for those that stand around so that they will believe. Jesus know the authority and power that lies with his father. But it's not for me, Lord, but for them. Be careful, brethren. Stay on course. You know, the task of leading the task of leading the house of God is not easy for my brethren and myself. To supervise the church is a hard task. You're talking about holiness. Because become like Jesus. You see, Jesus was dealing with Simon, Peter, James, and John. All of them was, you know, they had a different character. And it's the same thing with the church today. The different people in the church, are, are the character different, their behavior, everything about them different. So we have to ask God to give us the right attitude and behavior to deal with his people. To able to, to guide their minds. And you could only do that with the word of God. Very few people wants to listen to your experience. And most of them wants their own experience. Nothing wrong in that. What is wrong with it? It is very hard when you don't listen and you get yourself in problem for you to come back now for that same person have to be a burden bearer. Whether it's that person or another person, remember, stay focused on God's unchanging love, unchanging hands. Remember, my, I start out telling you that Satan says, he come to kill, steal, and destroy. Remember with Job, when God asked him, he said going to and fro, seeing who he could what? All right then, you understand? So we all underneath that pressure, knowing that we have to, we, uh, you know, you, you have to check everything and make sure it's lining up with the word of God. If it's not lining up, bid it goodbye. God reminds us of this truth about the holiness of God when he wrote that same hymn. 
Holy, 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 Lord God Almighty. Remember that, you know? He's holy and we are his children. Let us try to be holy too. Let us try to do a good work. You know, we hear the saying that we do a good work so that we will glorify the Father, which is heaven. Don't you want to glorify your Father? Don't you want to hear him say, come all here heavy later than I, Jesus, will give you rest? Don't you want to hear that? Haven't you heard it? But I have heard he said, I am the way. He said, no man, that is what I kill. I am the way, no man come to the Father but by me. No man. So my words to you, my brethren. No matter what struggle between you and circumstances in your life, no matter how you're struggling with the circumstances that sometimes you cannot even speak about, Remember to stay devoted and faithful to the God of peace. Yes, we have daily struggles in life, but we overcome them with prayer and supplication. Many of our, of our, of our elders sought and struggle in the solitude of the forests many of them they struggle for freedom in a sinful world because wherever we go there is always obstacles. But even though there is obstacles, there is also freedom. You choose. But the obstacle, but, but the freedom come with prayer and supplication. Brethren, in all what you're doing, I am here to tell you is pray, you know. Pray of the of the righteous avail it much. Pray. Put prayer. But you have to pray with faith, believing. Knowing that there is deliverance at the end of it. Remember I told you once was my eye. They fixed my eye, now is my hip. I walk in with a little hip. I walk in with a when I to get up to go to church. My, my, if I if I fight, I can't go. My knees hurted me. I am not going to yield to the temptation of my flesh because it hurted. When I get in the church and the Holy Spirit come out, come along, I ain't feeling no pain until I'm ready to walk to go back. Satan is not catching me. It's a fight, yes. But my desire is to be with my brethren and having a, a joyful time in the Lord. My desire is to be with you. My desire is to be part with you. My desire with you is to raise my hand to heaven and salute God. Not by myself. It's for us to come together in the unity of the spirit and unite. Not you train a word by there, that one train a word by there, and this one train. What? Tell me what you're gaining. We're not gaining anything, brethren. Instead, are we losing respect with the younger folks that is coming up because they're talking behind your back? Don't feel that they're looking at you in any way because they can read. They have an understanding. They're going in the dictionary. I'm meeting up with them and they're giving you the word. How the world are lining up with the things that they're doing and the things that they're saying. 
You walk in, in the church and you're, you're pretending. Good morning, good evening, good morning. And you know that's not what you mean. I see a woman walk in church, shake hand and wipe she hand in the church and feel good about that. What kind of madness is that? I'm still talking about loving God and God will come on. God does not divide his people. Hear me? His people, eh? My beloved brethren. God wants us to live a victorious life. Lord wants us to conquer. He wants us to rise over evil in all it's surrounded. God does not divide us. But but the he wants us to have love, unity, hope, harmony. God is in total harmony with himself. And you know what? His creation, which is you and I. God does redeem us. All we have to do is to humble yourself. When you don't know, say you don't know. When you have a need, ask God for the need. Ask him to provide and be patient and wait. Waiting doesn't mean just sitting down, you know. Wait in prayer and supplication. And if your heart is indicted in a good matter, I want to tell you before you turn, he answer pray because he's God and he change it not. What he say he will do is what he's going to do. Fear not. He said his purpose is a ripening fast and unfolding every hour. He said bird will have a bitter taste but sweet shall be the flower. You choose. Make a conscious decision which road you want to walk. And leave the rest up to Almighty God. Family, may God bless you. May He cause His face to shine upon you and grant you peace and love. Remember, He changeth not. So, the change had to come with you and me. And if you're sitting here, be careful where you're coming down. So, may God bless your family. May He cause His face to shine upon you and grant you peace. In no other name, but in Jesus' almighty name. Love you.